Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 17. Inside this video session guys, we are going to install a package called Yajra Box Data Table for our Laravel application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So basically guys, before installing Yajra Box package, let me understand that what basically it is. So if you have remembered then, we have made several layouts to our Laravel application. Suppose we have made add section, we have made our add class, we have made as our type and also we have developed as faculty and finally we have made as add student. So these are the layouts guys we have developed so far. Now. What basically suppose we have created hundred of students by using this form. Now we want to listing, we want to list out all the students into a tabular format. So this is what basically it is called list students. So inside this menu, inside this sub menu, we are going to make a data table. Suppose as we know that data table is a jQuery data table feature. We can use or implement our data table by using a jQuery plugin file. So Laravel basically what it is, it modified the library of data table and provided as that for the server side configuration for our Laravel application and this is something called Yajra box because as we know that data table has both client side and server side features but the Laravel actually modified that library and provided that feature to a server side table. So that basically package called Yajra box package in our Laravel application. So basically this is a tabular format, this is a listing of data, this is only a server side data table listing. So now next, how can we actually install our Yajra box? So I have written a small link, something dot, this is the official website, by going through this link, you can actually install Yajra box to our Laravel application. Let's open up this link into our Chrome browser and this is our link. So by going through this link guys, actually step by step we can install our Yajra box package to our Laravel application. So before installing, if you go to editor, now scroll down if I open about composer.json file and inside composer.json, this is a required attribute. Inside this required object, we have no Yajra box package installed in our application. So if we want to install that, if we have successfully installed, then a new property is added about Yajra box inside this required field. So back to documentation, now scroll down. Here we have something called installing Laravel data table and first of all before installing that guys as you know that before installing Laravel also we need composer. So by the help of that composer actually we are going to install this package also. So either we can run this command or we can run this command. So if I make some zoom. Now these are the two commands basically the Laravel documentation provides. This is on the following command in your package to get the latest version of this package. And if you are using most of the data table plugins like buttons and HTML, you can alternatively use this command. Now I'm going to run this first command. So if I copy this command back to our terminal, let me paste the command and this is the command that we have copied. Press enter. Now this is my system error so don't worry about this error inside this video session. Now as we can see that our installing features has been started. It is actually updating our composer.json file. Now basically installation process is now started. As we can see that it has installed a feature or a package called Yajra forward slash Laravel data table oracle and this is the version. So successfully guys, we have installed Yaja box package to our Laravel application. So back to editor. Now as we can see that inside composer.json file, a new property is added inside this required object something Yaja forward slash Laravel data table oracle and this is the version. So successfully we have installed that. Back to documentation. Now what we have to do next, scroll down open up the file called app.php inside this config folder. So back to editor, go to our config folder, open called app.php. Now inside this file, 
just scroll down to the providers array and basically as we go down this is the providers array so inside this array what we have to add we have to just add this class file means our data table service provider so if I copy that first of all let's make copy go to editor now inside this providers go at the bottom and I'm going to paste inside that so this is what we did now next what we have to do back to our documentation now finally after completing the step a verb use the following command to publish configuration and assets so finally we have to publish our vendor folder so I am going to copy this command copy that going to a terminal first of all let's clear out all these things and I am going to paste and press enter so we are just publishing our vendor folder and now as we can see that the publishing is completed so basically guys by the help of this video session we understood about the installation of Yajra box package to our Laravel application. So don't worry actually just back to documentation step by step by following this documentation actually we can install and Laravel actually Yajra box package to our application. Now next question we have that how can we use this package about using this feature guys about the listing of data like our class sections, classes about faculty listings and student listing we will see from our upcoming videos so inside this video guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day